All right, so a couple of things about this game that are, that should be interesting. What we've heard a lot of during the last couple of days is everyone lamenting, well, the Yankees don't have an ace. Well, first of all, Tanaka is their ace in the postseason. He has the third best ERA in the history of baseball in the postseason behind Sandy Koufax and Christy Mathewson. I believe it's 1.32. So if you could pitch like that, you're an ace. Now, what they'll need out of him today is a little bit more distance because the rain out yesterday made this very tough to employ the bullpen the way you wanted to employ it during every single game. Because the way it was set up, you'd have two games off day, three games off day, two games. Now, two games, a game, off day, and four straight. And not one Yankee reliever all year has had the opportunity to work in three straight games. And they might be asked to work in four straight games. And before anybody calls up and says, oh, it's the playoffs, they should be able to do whatever... They're going to they're gonna want to do it. Whether or not they're going to be effective is a completely different story. So that's what we'll be looking at today. And I also think the wind and the cold will play a little bit of a factor. Um, pitchers that use breaking balls need to grip the ball better. They need to get friction on the baseball. Will they be able to do that tonight? Will that take away the splitter? From Tanaka? Will it take away the slider, which has been such a weapon for him? Will it take away the breaking pitches that, that Grinky has to throw with pre precision? But I think it all comes down to this. Everybody's talking about pitching, pitching, pitching. The Yankee pitching over the first three games has been just fine. Just fine. Maybe it's not the way you draw it up with Paxton only giving you two and two-third innings. I get that. But they haven't given up a lot of runs. The culprit here is the Yankee offense. Guys like Gary Sanchez, guys like Edwin Encarnacion, guys like D.D. Gregorius, guys like Brett Gardner. They have to hit. They have to hit. And they should be able to hit a guy like Granke. And I think that's what it comes down to, Don and Peter. It's really not about pitching. The pitching has been fine. There have been some slip-ups, but they've held a very good Astro offense down enough that you should be able to win games. They haven't been able to win the last two games because they haven't been able to score. Well, the holes that we've seen from the Yankee pitching have been magnified by the fact that they've had no cushion, no margin for error, right? The home run for Springer in game two, if that's a if that's a five, six, one game, then it doesn't matter that he hit the home run, but it was two, one. So there was no margin for error. It tied the game. Yankees couldn't score the rest of the way. Eventually, the Astros found a way. You know, when you give up a couple of runs in the seventh inning the way they did in game three, not a big deal if you're uh, up big, but unfortunately they were down two nothing, so two nothing became four nothing, and it seemed like an insurmountable lead. So, it's not that big of a deal what the pitching has done, Michael. If they've got some run support, but with no run support, how are you supposed to maneuver around this? This is too good of an Astros team to be able to pitch with not being allowed to make a mistake.